Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn or discuss about the responses from the people about civil disobedience movement. We already have learned about civil disobedience movement, and we know that the people of India they reacted very positively towards it. But in this topic, we are just learning. how specifically people reacted to him and uh, here we are dividing the total indian population into four categories and uh, the two categories we took from the village and the other two we take from the urban area let's examine how people reacted towards civil disobedience movement from the village we know that in the village there there were people from rich as well as poor sections and the poor peasant as well as the rich peasantry we have two rich peasant community in india that was brought for example for example here they were patilar community and jat community these two communities supported mahatma gandhi during civil disobedience movement because this community want to get more price for their commodity during 1930s due to the great depression the commodities price are falling down and uh, the community the rich person community thought that if uh, there would be some change in administrative system could help for improving prices and so and so that when congress announced a movement this community supported them and uh, that was the reaction from the rich village community towards civil disobedience movement now we can come across the poor people the poor people they are most of them uh, worked or uh, as uh, work labor in the land which was lended from the landlords they have to pay taxes to the landlord as well as the government they are not able to pay, uh, pay to the government so they demanded for no rent campaign and all from the side of international congress they didn't support such kind of no rent campaign or no tax campaign as a result this community poor sections of people they withdrew from the congress side and they gave their support to the communities to the parties such as socialist and communist so the congress they didn't get support from the poor peasantry of indian rural area and now we have the third the third category we are taking from the urban area the urban area we know that the rich industrial community or uh, industrialists and uh, what kind of approach they had we know that gd birla purushottam das thakur das like uh, great industrialists they supported mahatma gandhi because they also realized one thing that if congress rule or in domestic rule happens or uh, brought in india could help their industry that mean the foreign people or british people always supported the british citizens and british people and british industries so they demanded that the some indian government should be there that's why gd birla purushottam das sakudars like leaders they greatly supported mahatma gandhi and the civil disobedience movement and uh, if you are com- coming back to the people poor people in the urban area where industrial workers of course we know that the industrial workers and they their support goes to the socialist and communist these people want more wages and their demand was very different and the congress never supported the demands of the people in the industrial working section and uh, the communists as well as the socialists supported them so they joined with them only one exception we could see here that means in the area of chota nagpur the mine workers supported mahatma gandhi by wearing the gandhi cap during this period and uh, so other kind of uh, support we are giving getting in the area of nagpur also and uh, these are the different type of approaches of people towards civil disobedience